It was narrated by Jabir ibn Abdullah that Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "He who eats onion, garlic, and leek should not approach our mosque, for the angels are harmed by the same things as the children of Adam." It is important for us to not only look good, but to smell good as well when entering the house of Allah subhanahu wa taala. As the angels are also present while we are performing ibadah, the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is to put on perfume and use the miswak before prayers. It was narrated by Ummu Habiba that Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Whoever prays twelve rakats in a day." Apart from the fardu prayers, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala will build for him a house in paradise. The sunnah or nawafil prayers which surround the fardu prayers are as follows: two before fajr, four before zuhur, two after zuhur, two after maghrib, and two after isha. It was narrated by Abu Sa'id Al Khudri that Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, "If while you are praying, someone intends to pass in front of you, prevent him, and should he insist, prevent him again, and if he insists again, then use force against him, for he is shaitan." There are two ways to prevent someone from crossing. The first way is to extend your hand forward to prevent him. Another way is to move forward towards the sutra as to leave no space for the person to cross.